After the first nine rounds of the 2012 NRL season, I think every fan, regardless of where their loyalty lied, was asking the same question. Who's going to beat the Melbourne Storm in the 2012 Premiership? We found out in round 10 that they, they were human and, uh, and they lost to the Cronulla Sharks. But today, going into uh, the semi-finals in 2012 NRL competition, we talk the Melbourne Storm. Big League Live semi-finals time preview. We are talking Melbourne Storm today. Tony Wiebeck, editor of Big League Magazine, is joining me. Thanks, Tony. Pleasure. Uh, we're talking Melbourne Storm. As I said in the introduction, nine rounds into the NRL competition, I guess everyone was looking at the Melbourne Storm going, how are we going to beat them? Uh, Tony, they got beat in round 10, and they've suffered a few losses, uh, unlikely losses since then, but they're starting to find their feet again coming into the final series. They are. I actually didn't think they were the best team last weekend when they beat Brisbane, but it's a sign of a good team that you can win without your best football, and that's what you're dealing with in Melbourne. You've got to play well for 80 minutes. Yeah. It's got to be your best football for 80 minutes, and you can't give them an inch. So yeah. um, it's all about taking opportunities when you play the Storm and making sure that at the end of the game you've taken more opportunities than they have. When they're in form, they are the most dynamic attacking team uh, without doubt in the competition with the likes of Billy Slater at the back, and obviously they've got the halves with Cooper Cronk. Gareth Widdop. Uh, Tony, can they win a premiership in 2012? Oh, definitely, no question. They, um, the interchange of passing that we see from those players you mentioned, from Cronk and Smith and Slater, we saw it in round one against the Raiders. Yeah. They were just, they produced tries that we hadn't seen really in rugby league. Much. Yeah. Um, just the, the angles they ran and the way they interchanged passing. Um, they, they have had a flat spot, they suffered through origin. And they're not playing their best football right now, but I'm sure that's going to come in the next few weeks. And, and they've got, they look like having two home finals, so that's going to be a massive, massive advantage for them yeah. to get to a grand final. Yeah. Look, yeah, we talk about some of the tries they've scored this year. I mean, on occasions it's gone from Smith to, to Cronk to Widdop to Slater, back to Cronk, back to Smith, and then Billy would score under the post again. It's unbelievable, sort of the, the backing up and, and how they know each other's game, probably in and out too, is a, is a big benefit. It's almost like watching the under 10s, who've got, who've got three great players and the rest of the, the, rest of the kids just do their best. Um, it's probably a bit unfair to the rest of the team, but the, the, just the, the instinct and the, no, and the um the knowledge they have of where each other's going to be is second to none in the competition, I think. So yeah. um, I think a few teams have shown that if you challenge them physically, mm -hmm. you can worry them. Yeah. And obviously you take away a bit of time for, for the likes of Cronk and Smith. So yeah. that's where the likes of Manly and the Bulldogs will try and challenge the Storm in the finals. And look, there's probably a few things you cannot do against the Melbourne Storm. Obviously errors, I mean, errors in any in any NRR game, a game are going to hurt you. But uh, with Melbourne Storm's attack, you just can't give them the ball. No, they can see less errors than anyone else in the competition. So, if you can see more than, if you give up more errors than they do, then you're going to be in trouble. So, um, they, they you need to stay in the stay in the fight and then throw a few punches towards the end. Yeah. Now the defensive stats from the Melbourne Storm are probably some of the most impressive stats you'll probably see in the NRL. Uh, look, going into the the final, uh, the final series, is there anyone that don't want to play? They, they don't really, I wouldn't say they have a bogey team, but, but I'd say that the Sharks have shown that, you know, and other teams, that if you muscle up and yeah. challenge them physically, that you can worry them. I'd say Manly would fancy their chances. Yeah. I don't think Manly would be intimidated by anyone at the moment. Um, and the Bulldogs as well, they've got the size and the skill to really worry that Melbourne defensive line. And if you can ask questions of that Melbourne defence, you more have more chance of, uh, of finding your way through. Yeah, so as I said, they, they did suffer they probably suffered the worst out of the state of origin hangover. We talk about a lot, uh, a lot of the time uh, coming out of uh, the origin series when you've got a lot of players in your team that aren't playing. They did suffer a great deal, but at the moment, the old sort of you know we're, we're seeing the Melbourne Storm that we saw in the first nine rounds picking up uh, picking up the pace and uh, and look like they may go on with it. And look, two home games are going to be a massive benefit come semi-finals. If they win week one, they look like they'll finish second. If they beat the Sharks on. 
Monday night, they'll wrap up second spot at least. There's still a chance of the minor premiership if the Bulldogs go down. So um, if they can get a home semi-final in week one and win that, home semi-final week three, then they're just one game away from home, which will be the grand final. So yep. a massive advantage for them. No worries. Look, that was Melbourne Storm. Uh, look, uh, we're going to be previewing all the teams, as we said, going into the final series. Thanks again, Tony, for that. Pleasure. Uh, can't wait to see Melbourne Storm in full flight come uh, the 2012 final series. This is Big League Live. We'll be back with you very shortly, so stay tuned. We'll be getting your, uh, your team in the top eight very shortly.